Alrighty, now it's time to let my MP heal. Then we kill the boss. I was like, what would it be like if I could just kill everything in one hit? It'd be fabulous. But yeah, I think I have like 60-something points in magic, and I still can't kill everything in one hit, so I gave up. I was like, these returns are most certainly diminishing. Like, it was going up like 2 to 3. Excuse you, sir. That's, that's enough of that. <clears throat> damage per um, point of investment, roughly. But then it just started going up like 1 to 2, so I'm like, eh. Should probably put those hard-earned points in literally anything else. Oh, cool, we can kill those guys in one hit. That's honestly useful. They do some annoying shit. I forgot why I came in here. You fucking asshole. The first time. But that's why there's a lot of, uh... What's the word? Unlocked shit? Yeah, no thank you. had enough of you. Oh yeah, I probably came in here to save Sage Freak or something, because he got all the spells for the uh, Demon Souls or whatever. That, I think there was maybe an accessory. Speaking of that, what in the fuck do I even have equipped? There we go. Yeah. I didn't know that the wooden catalyst actually increases your damage, whereas the silver one only increases, um... your magic point pool. And I also, stupidly... I thought intelligence was my magic stat, so there's a lot of points in that that shouldn't be in there. 
Which was part of the reason I was like, oh shit, I need to probably grind this out or start the character over. I was like, fuck it, I'll just grind it out. I was bored, so. Well, that and I wasn't really just grinding. I was watching TV and kind of paying attention to the game. It's amazing, once you do something a couple jillion times, how your muscle memory... Ugh. Mammary. <laughs> My muscle mammaries that I don't have. Is that what, like, having chesticles would be like? Muscle mammaries? I have no idea. That's a really weird way to call, like, someone's chest muscles, I guess. <laughs> or if you're, like, a woman that bodybuilds, I mean, that's probably what they are now, I guess. Got no more titties, it's just chesticles. Oh, well that's gonna die substantially faster than the first time I came down here when I'm hitting it for like 30. But yeah, I haven't invested a single fucking point into Vitality, so... This just gonna be my glass cannon? lady? person? I originally created her as a dude, <coughs> but then I like found this freaking whatchamacallit. God damn it. I fucking hate these sparkle dickheads. I didn't know there was one of those over here. Probably have to leave and come back to get it. Uh, I think that just takes me to a floor that's locked. And I think it's only openable with, like, either pure black or pure white tendency. I ain't messing around with that shit on this playthrough. This is a fun run, so... Whatever the fuck I feel like doing is whatever the fuck's gonna happen. But... Oh yeah, the other thing I was grinding out was materials for my, um, sword thingy? I don't know. There's, like, some magical fucking shit. Look at me being so eloquent. There's a magical sword that I upgraded almost to max. Because there are times where you're in close quarters... Are you serious? You're gonna die like a little bitch. Stupid little bitch. Just stand there. I love it. Oh. You figured out that ain't working for you, huh? Fucking bitch. This game is so much fun, I love it. Alright, let's see you dodge roll that. Fucking hoe bag. Moonlight stone chunks? I don't know what I would use those for. Probably won't change my weapon again this game. Evil phantom. Yeah, I probably don't need that much magic. Yeah, we'll see if I even live. Probably get my ass beat. Yeah, it's probably best that I just blast her with fire, maybe. Who knows? I think I can get a better magic spell from her corpse, well, her soul rather, once I feed it to Sage Freaky. Ugh, <laughs> I don't like you, lady. 
I don't think she gives a shit what I like. She has four arms. Some goth teenager from an 8th grade from some local middle school decides that she's gonna fucking pretend she has magical powers. You know that's how you made it really annoying bullshit. Are you kidding me? I don't even know what to call that, frankly. Yeah, that should make this fight a lot easier. Alright, let's play who has the most sparkly attack. Is it that one? I don't know, that one seems bigger than the other one. Just gotta avoid the invisible glyphs on the floor. Ah, oh, sweet. Guess I'll die. Get the fuck out of here. I've had enough of you. This is what's gonna happen to all your little buddies. Can't spell believe without also putting the word lie in there. B E L I E V E. Your believers. That voice is reviving the idol. Yeah, I already killed that guy though. Before I came in here. Time to get kidnapped by... Our buddies. Uh... Never forget -o, my murder machete. Oh shit. We don't want to probably jump off the side of the building. I'm like 84% sure that's not a good idea. Ugh, whoever the douchebag contractor is for this building that just doesn't have a railing anywhere. Fucking chef's kiss. Good job, you've officially created a place that I would never fucking go. I hate heights. Because I just don't like them. I think it's because my abusive father hung me off the side of the Grand Canyon because he thought it was funny. Yeah, he's in hell. If there is one. Fucking piece of shit. Yo. Well, we've long been acquainted. So on. Is he gonna give me a discount? Is that what that means? I don't need none of that shit. Let's see. What the pious lot? Did you notice the fools? Why am I here right now? Oh yeah, I was gonna trade my shit in for a spell, I think. Maybe. Oh, is that do you have further off? Well, he doesn't have the ability to teach me anything new. So we gotta go to get freaky with freak. Hmm. 
It's better than having you bother them up. Yeah, that's what I thought. You don't know shit about f fuck, buddy. You have your wits about you. Now we have the big boy soul spell. Yeah, might as well keep the other one. I have all those slots. Demon souls when you can. I patiently await you, my fine magician friend. Shut your whore mouth. You are merely here to serve me. Where do I want to go next? We can do the iron guy. Uh I don't even know. Oh yeah, the armor spider. I fucking hate the armor spider. That would be double gargoyle town. Uh, what the fuck is this place? What is the second boss here? I don't even remember. I don't remember the first boss. No, that's the leech monger. Uh, this level's pretty fast. Oh, I need to kill myself first. I don't want to change the world tendency by dying as a human in these places. Let's go commit suicide in the Nexus really quick here. Someone followed me three hours ago? That's pretty cool. I wasn't even awake. I don't even have to be awake to get followers anymore. Nah, they probably just watched a past stream. I don't even have enough followers for <laughs> monetization or anything anyway, I'm just being a, a silly head. It would be cool if someday that happened, but I don't want to, like, be a fake-ass bitch to make it occur. Goodbye, cruel world. I'll never be Twitch famous. Womp womp. Ugh, so many people are just such a caricature of themselves, like, these, like, social media people. I just can't fathom, like, being a fake-ass hoe. And, like, I don't know, like, all the, like, heavy edits to make things, like, amusing. Having to, like, watch what you say all the time because you're afraid you'll get cancelled for saying something inadvertently racist or because Gen Z, you know, they were born 100% perfect somehow. Yeah. Maybe that's why they have the fucking highest incidence of mental health issues out of any generation because, you know... Uh, they're faking it, just like everyone else, probably. But they were born in a world that gives you no quarter when it comes to making mistakes, so... <coughs> Thankfully, when I was born, the internet did not exist at all. Yeah. Let's go spend those souls before I lose them. From some spicy dragon fire. Oh yeah, I should get rid of all my crap too. Uh, purchase these babies. Unable to purchase. Oh yeah, I'm overweight. I was worried sick. Carrying too many weird things. What is this shit? We can use that. Yep, that's what happened. Oh, I have two of those. I guess I farmed them out from the Reapers. What is this baby nail thing? Eh, I have enough weapons. Those are the only ones I need. Yeah, we're probably fine. I don't know. 
I can forge weapons for you. Who can't carry anymore? Eh, I guess that's another good reason to have your glass cannon build is you can buy the cheaper curative items. Ugh. Oh my god. It's just kind of amusing, like, so many people don't get that people that make dumb jokes are usually doing it for their own internal mental health situation. I don't know if you've ever heard the old phrase that laughter is medicine, but yeah. Finding things that are amusing to talk shit about, yada yada. But, oh no, you say one wrong thing on the fucking internet, the most serious place in the entire fucking galaxy. Watch out, kids. You're done before you even started. Stupid. But then, like, the actual scumbags that should be cancelled don't ever seem to really get cancelled. Like, our trashy politicians and varying other kinds of scumbags in society. Like the Trump family. God, that's a whole family of douchebags. Uh, dragon. I would like you to burn the fucking shit down so I can, uh. Not be dead, hopefully. Meh. Maybe we'll make it, maybe we won't. Oh, I can hear it, it's coming back. Hey, baby. What's up? You work for me, motherfucker. Alrighty, so probably won't get hit if I'm around this area. We'll heal just because... Oh shit, there's guys in there. Let's go kill these dickheads. I don't want to be getting shot at from both sides. I think there's like four or five enemies up there with two blue knight guy people. Alright, there we go. You're really dragging your ass with this hellfire dragon. some fire rock up in this bitch. Should probably let a little of my stamina replenish. Hopefully I don't die. Uh, I really don't want to fight you, sir. You're too spooky. Too goddamn spooky. be robbing all the corpses up in here. Excuse me, spooky. I'm gonna need you to take a nap. There's some archers up here that I should kill too. Oh shit, well, hopefully... Nice. Free stuff. But I don't think I'll get a different weapon anyway. I only need one more stone to complete the maxed out version of this sword. Naughty. Naughty. 
naughty children. this fucking asshole that I don't want to fight. I'm just gonna fight him with my stabby thing? Or am I gonna blast him? I don't know. We'll find out. I think he has like a little weakness in his armor behind one of his heels or something. Got that Achilles. Well, that doesn't seem fair. Uh, don't kill me, I don't wanna die. It'd be great if it would take seven and a half hours to get back up, though. That's more the thing I have issues with. Let's heal before I get a nice dose of magical lance up my fucking throat hole. fight. The goddamn gimmick. He tried to blast me and my cooter with his blue lance, baby. Oh yeah. He wants to penetrate me with his magical fucking object! Should probably pay more attention to this boss fight. Should name him Michael Bolton, because he tried to kill me with a crossbow bolt. Alright, I think I've cleaned these bitches out. I have as much life as I possibly can, currently. Uh oh. He's spooky. Look at all the spookiness. I think there was a way to like bait him into like a specific area. done research before I fought this boss, but I've decided that that is a waste of my precious time, I guess. Like a complete fucking dingleberry. style.
why you're baited into this particular set of actions over and over again, but I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna get sad about it. Oh, shit. Alright, I'm pretty sure you died. Time for more suicide. Did I pick up my other souls? I don't even remember. I was worried sick. We are in Shut your whore mouth. I can Fucking bitch boy. Uh -huh. Could upgrade a bow. Why not? I don't think I'll ever use it, but... We got it if we need it, I guess. Where the fuck did we I get that shield line. from? Hello again. I'm keeping a close watch. so bizarre to me too that like Gen Z is like notoriously fucking Republican and like conservative leaning oof probably because they were born into a world that accepts that as the status quo it's kind of fucked oh, up do you have further off? Yeah. you don't have nothing to teach me Oof. Glad I wasn't born them. Because they're going to be looking down the barrel of a $30,000 a year job with zero paid days off, working for Elon Musk in an environment where he's legally allowed to fucking molest your pussy in public. You have your Because these fucking dipshits have just decided that this is fine. Bring me more demon souls when you can. Yikes. Yikes. Uh, not my fucking problem. I'm old. I'll be dead soon. Like 30 or 40 years. <laughs> Thou seekest the power of the soul. Ah! Don't touch me. You're filthy. To buy some grass from I can forge weapons for you. my dealer over here. Do come back alive. It used to be like so nice, but now I just fucking hate everybody. I don't want to deal with the penetrator. The guy's an asshole. Could go try to kill the armor spider, I guess, but I fucking hate that thing. Like, I see these videos online of, like, people cheesing him, and I'm like, those don't work for me for some reason. Like, I always get bitch slapped to death by fireballs. Oh, yeah, I need to jump off a cliff. I was like, I know I came in here for some other reason, but I forgot what. But, I mean, even, like, the generational hating itself is such broad nonsense. I mean, to my understanding, the whole, like, marketing of generations was basically for just that, like, trying to figure out, like, from a mainly broad perspective, what one group of people likes product-wise and is going to do, and yada yada, so that you could effectively sell them a bunch of crap and control them effectively. So, even when I am talking shit about various generations, it's not even completely genuine because uh, obviously not every single person acts 
in one predetermined set of ways. But yeah, I mean, it's true enough most of the time to use it as a weapon, I guess. Yeah, I already pre-ordered that game, and I'm kind of mad, because... They did a physical edition, like a super limited physical edition, and I couldn't get a hold of it. Because, fucking, you can never get, like, a Soulsborne game, like, special edition. It's just not possible, unless you're a fucking hacker. Um, so, I was like, fuck that. And then, I guess now they're gonna make a broad run of physical games after I already, like, gave money to the PSN. Because I think you get it, like, a couple days early. It's one of those fucking bullshit moves. So I was like, yeah, I'll play it early. That's awesome. Yeah, the game is pretty fun. The boss, the first boss seems pretty unforgiving. Um... But that's how most of these games are. They, like, they chuck the most annoying situation at you in the beginning. And then you just feel like you're super god because you're like, oh, wow, I must have got a lot better. No, they just made a lot of easier bosses to lull you into this, like, psychological situation where, I don't know, your fucking brain's just blasting you with dopamine. Something like that. Penetrator, spider, gargoyles. I don't mind the gargoyle fight, but I hate the level. Because it's so fucking like, oh, look at all our fucking edges with no fucking goddamn fucking whatever the fuck. I'm so specific when I talk. Uh, no rails. There we go. God damn. <laughs> We bought this, like, hundred-year-old house with this, like, wood-rotted railing that we got rid of, and we replaced it with some sleek metal railings. When are you alive? Nah, you're not gonna pull that shit on me until the next set of douchebags, I guess. Oh my gosh, my grandma used to have these vitamin C candies that she took because, you know, they had vitamin C in them, but I liked the way they tasted, so I would steal them all and eat them. She would get mad at me. And I never have seen that candy ever again, which is sad, because I loved it. I don't know, I liked them because they were, like, super acidic. Like, they weren't, like, sweet garbage, which is not usually, like, the kind of stuff I want to eat. I like that sour stuff. Oh look, it's Freddy! Look at my machete, Freddy. Turn you into spaghetti. Bitch ass bitch. Ugh. Plus this place is annoying because... I don't remember what the fuck I'm talking about. I just like to bitch. Everything's a disaster, so I'm just gonna bitch about it. How about that? How about that internet? Can't even fucking stop me. Fresh spice makes everything nice. Look at this shit. I just know I'm gonna fall off these railings multiple times. So that's how this level was designed. Alright, buddy, come on. Plop on down. I know you're there. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know all about your fucking bullshit, buddy. What the fuck? Where's my free shit? Just kind of like meandered away from me. I guess that makes sense, though. I mean, he dropped a soul. How does one fucking grab something as nebulous as a soul and just tuck it into their fucking pocket. Yeah, it's kind of amazing that, like, your body, like, to preemptively get ready for work, you just get sick because 
fucking work is such a scam that benefits nobody but the established fucking rich assholes that already have the money. And they're just not happy, like, with the amount of money that they have. They have 99% of it, and they don't want to stop there. It's not enough. They want all of it. And I don't get why people can't figure out that this is a problem that will impact them for the entirety of their lives. But everybody's like, oh, I'm fucking special. I'm gonna win the lottery or some shit. No, you're not. No, you're not. One in 300 million chance. You are just paying for someone else's lotto win. Somebody who plays more often and more dangerously with their money than you do. Sir, I would like your free shit, please. Thank you. Oh, God. Your mom and your sister are vile bastards. That's all I know about those people. Neither one of them is a good person. They're both just like scumbags, man. Like, God. It sucks having to say this shit like that about people that you're supposed to like love, but goddamn. These people are fucking scumbags. And that's the nicest way I can put it. God damn. It's just scumbag world. Everybody wants to be the biggest scumbag and have the most money so they can have the most fucking environmentally stupid shit that they don't fucking need for any reason whatsoever. We have all these fucking pick-me assholes being like, Oh, I want to fucking be Elon's fucking cum receptacle for that 33rd child named Jabwanda X to the third power. Uh, I'm sorry that you're fucking stupid. You should work on that. Should really try to go above and beyond fucking being a parasite that leeches off a billionaire is your only fucking viable option in this world. God damn, suicide is looking fucking more and more viable every day that I live in this bullshit. So many people are just so dumb, and it just gives me a headache. Jesus. Did I come in from this way? And then go that other way? Well, I can't lock onto those guys, so... That's the problem with this level design, is that, like, everything in this place is, like, a fucking straight line. It's annoying. Yeah, like, that's the thing, when you're... Like, being smart in this world is a fucking curse. Because you're just smart enough to, like, know how bad everything is. But you're fucking completely powerless just the same. So, I don't know. I just fucking am so envious of dumb motherfuckers that just think everything's fine just the way it is. I'm like, could you imagine being just that fucking blissfully ignorant? Like, thinking that it's okay for companies to basically, like, be in control of, like, your fucking health insurance like no other country on earth. God damn, you have to just be drinking some fucking stupid juice all day long to fucking get that retarded, in my opinion. I have no clue how anybody is that stupid. I really just can't fathom it, being that I wasn't born completely retarded, I guess. And... It's so annoying, like, so many people get, like, so butthurt by so many different various words that literally don't even impact them at all. I'm like... Oh, boy. I have to kill that ugly thing. 
before I can go that way. Yeah, they're under essentially a legal obligation to at least provide services um, that take you out of kind of like a critical status. So they're really only obligated to help you if you're basically like gonna die. And like, isn't that great? Like, people are defending that kind of a healthcare system and it's like, you know this is your healthcare system too, right? Like, you don't have billions of dollars in the event that you get sick. And some, and since everything that all these fucking people do to get rich is to clout chase on social media, basically, destroying their bodies with fucking 83 pound hamburgers so they can get like, I don't know, start building a fucking social media base. I'm like, y'all just really need to pay attention to that stuff. Because it's only going to get worse the longer that fucking stupid Gen Z decides that everything's fine the way it is because I'm retarded. And they get all offended by the word retarded, even though they're fucking retarded. It's just, it's amazing. Let's do nothing and hope things get better. Fucking kill yourself. Jesus. Oh my god, I feel like I gave a lot of trying in my life, and I don't know that I even want to continue doing it anymore. It's just... It is a shit show. Can I walk across that? I should probably open this foggy room first. Then it'll probably like let me kind of clip on the side. Get some sparkly shit. This game just tempts you with the most ridiculous... I just don't care anymore what people think of me. If you don't like me because I used a word, then you're probably too stupid for me to hang out with you anyway. Like, I'm not speaking about people that actually have mental illnesses or their caretakers. I'm talking about people that should fucking know better, that refuse to know better. Because it's just more convenient for them to fucking not try. To just be a little fucking cog in the machine. Do what mommy and daddy say. And do nothing else to rock any boat ever because you're just a fucking pussy. God damn. And not even in like a derogatory way for women. Like, it's just the words that people use. And if it inflames you good. You should fucking feel something when somebody insults your intelligence. Like, you should be like, wow, I don't want people to view me this way. I should find a way to make this world slightly better, but that's not how we'd be doing it. Excuse you, sir? Are you... What the fuck? Why don't... Did I run out of magic? Yeah, I ran out of magic. Alright, let's put this puppy. No, that's... We want this one. Need some fresh spice. Yeah. Which barely gives me any magic whatsoever. Oh, yeah, that guy's hiding. Come on. Bring yourself. Um, okay. I was locked on, and then I'm like, I guess I'll attack this pillar. Such game design. Very wow. Whatever. I guess I'll just stab him to death. But yeah, I'm just kind of over everybody being so complacent. Like, being Republican, or even honestly a Democrat at this point, and not demanding social change, is fucking foolish. Because Joe Biden is the biggest Republican of all fucking time, basically. But when I'm forced to choose between a fucking criminal and a different criminal, 
because one of them is way worse than the other one for my mental health, because he just won't stop being on TV 24-7, saying the dumbest shit of all time, because that's his fucking brand. I'm actually going to get off my ass and vote for that one, I guess. But it's funny, like, me and my husband were talking about how we both thought Hillary Clinton was a piece of shit, and that we didn't want to vote for her. And I was like, like, I think I told someone that once, and they were, like, all pissed off. They were like, oh, you're going to let the evil people win. And I'm like, I'm not really being given a choice in American politics between any credible people. Just incredible fucking assholes. Complete morons and scumbags and dipshits. The estab- like, fucking voting for a Clinton, please. The established, fucking, named... Please. Like, what are you even getting at that point? You ain't getting nothing. down here. Is there any free shit? Just doing some free shit analysis. <laughs> Gotta get that free shit. What the fuck? I hate it when items put themselves in my fucking little tool chest thingy. You don't want to have too many options in this game. It's not good. Are you Demons. Actually, I'm gonna lay you out of that so, cage and then stab you to death. This place. Sure. I'm on your side. Oh, of course you are. Yeah, I've heard that shitty argument before. That's all anybody has right now these days is just shitty arguments. Hey, you're gonna meet your own death. Fucking slut. I don't know, I was bored, man. I felt like murdering your bitch ass. Just steal your fucking clothes. Nice outfit, bro. Uh, what we need to do as Americans is do what the people in French do every single time- in France, rather. Every single time they get fucked over by one of their politicians. Go out into the street and bitch. It is literally the only thing that's been proven to be effective. So when people aren't fucking talking about important social things that are literally directly impacting their own livelihood, I'm gonna call you retarded. Sorry. If you wanna fucking cry over it, then... That's your own fucking tears you're wasting, I guess. Oof. I just have no patience for people that... have no will to do anything for themselves. Maybe if I just sit here doing nothing like a good boy sitting on my fucking hands, like a little fucking slave, maybe then all the fucking big slave daddies will notice how good of a fucking slave I am and then fucking give me millions of dollars. That is literally like what their fucking argument is. Stupidest shit I've ever fucking heard in my life. You want me to not call you a mean word. Wah. Because it's not politically correct. Oh. Oh, poor baby. Ass motherfucker. Damn, that thing's gonna kill me. Well, 
Why am I not locking up? Spooky. Free shit. How do I get that free shit though? Actually, I think it's, yeah, it's another pure world tendency thing. Which is annoying. I don't really like that about this game. But. It's one of the few things that doesn't really hold up. God damn. Everybody's trying to outslave each other in this economy. Like, oh, I'll take less money for this job than that person will. Like, really? That's. You think you're fucking winning? Because you're racing to the bottom? Man. trying to work your way up so that you can have just barely enough credible actual responsibility to fucking send a strongly worded email that won't get read to some fucking executive that gives zero shits about you. They're too busy being rich and cheating on their wife to give one spare fucking modicum of thought to one of the slaves in their fucking machine. And if you haven't realized that by now, and you're going to just race to the bottom against every other candidate because you have the mental fortitude to be the best slave on the planet, then that's your problem, I guess. Oof. Look at me. Pick me. I'm the most best slave of all time. <sighs> That's all I gotta say. Uh, it's time to start burning people at the stake. Especially fucking politicians. Especially ones in Florida. Or Texas. To be specific. We need to institute some laws like how they had in the Spartan days where if you let a fucking... If you destroy like your constituency's wishes by being a scumbag that takes bribes, you get your head chopped off in public. Oh, it's too gross. Oh, it's so terrible. Please. Like it's any more terrible than any fucking piece of news you read on any given fucking day. So ridiculous. How the fuck do I get up on this bridge? I think that's how I got down here, and then I got lost amidst all this wacky wacky ding dong stuff. Oh my god. It's a Duma. I don't like you, buddy. You're gross. I'm gonna stab you. Well, that's what all the racist white people be doing. And then they always do the ultimate bitch move. After they've killed somebody that they don't like for basically no good reason, then they shoot themselves in the face. 
because they don't want to deal with the consequences of their stupid fucking actions. <laughs> then people are upset that I call other people retarded. Might want to worry about something else. You're focusing on the wrong problem. <laughs> when this is shit that's okay to have happen in our world. Especially when it's a rich person. They'll get away with it nine times out of ten. They'll pay off the judge. They will get away with that shit. While you're being the world's fucking most complacent slave. Like, oh yeah, if I had that money I could do it too. You're not gonna have that money. The system is fucking rigged against you, you stupid bastard. God damn. Wake the fuck up. Like, the hill we all chose to die on was to fucking refuse to receive income. A little temper tantrum, basically, because we don't want to go back to an office. Oof. If only we could have agreed on something more useful. Like, wow, that power exists. People actually wielded it. And then decided that that was all they needed. Yikes. Wow. And you wonder why... They try to keep generations down for long periods of time. Really fucks with their ability to mess with your plans. Since they're, you know, just out here fucking complying with your every move. Like a good little slave. Competing in arbitrary popularity contests at work. Who can give up the most rights so that they can eventually get promoted? God damn. Oof. I fell for that trap once myself in life. And I've gotta say, good luck with that shit. If that's how you think you're gonna get ahead in this world. Is it gargoyle time? Nah. I was pretty sure it isn't gargoyle time yet. I feel like that's part of the reason a lot of people like these kinds of games, is because you have like these insurmountable odds in this horrible, broken, shitty world, ruled over by like literal fucking demons, that really don't have much of a will outside of just destruction and chaos. It's a lot like the real world. Uh, completely unsalvageable. God. People in the US are like, oh, I want our government to be like China so that I can be the most fucking ultimate slave of all time. Good luck with that. Hopefully I'll be dead by then. All these young people making $10 an hour, barely able to fucking afford their $2,000 a month apartment, thinking they're getting ahead in life. Like, we have the technology to eradicate so much of this shit, and we don't. Like, just let that sink in. Like, let your little brain do, I don't know, fucking eight neurons worth of fucking analysis. Just try it sometime. God damn it, how many of you are there? I wanted to go chase that glitter bug so I could get some free shit. It is long gone by now.
Oof. It's almost like the system was specifically designed so that by the time you realize how badly you're getting fucked, you're too old to care anymore. And then you just die like a complacent slave. Just, wow, the level of design is just amazingly evil. Just amazingly evil. Who the fuck is shooting at me? You wanna play a game, buddy? I'm gonna play Murder You. It's gonna be awesome, you're gonna love it. Skank. Come over here, buddy. Where I don't get knocked off this bullshit. Uh, that's just called capitalism. That's not survival, that's, um... Falling for the game. Buddy, I'm just gonna light you on fire, man. You have two choices. Die or die. It's basically the same choice as these companies and these fucking billionaires give us. Oh, you could either be a slave or be a slave. Slave 2.0, that makes slightly more money. With whatever the complete fuckery to your mental health is from participating in such a system. Fucking just... What a society we have. I have a great idea for a society. Let's breed a bunch of mentally ill people to the point where we get sociopaths, and then let's promote them to, like, the ultimate douchebag. And then let them run over our society. Sounds really fucking smart. Yikes. Well, that's a fast elevator. Pardon? Mr. Flap Flap, is that you? It was, it was Mr. Flap Flap. Mr. Flap Flap himself. Yeah, I'm not liking whatever this is. Oh look, it's it's the Christians of our nation praying to a fucking golden statue. Fucking assholes. Man, can you imagine believing in an invisible dude that has a bunch of rules for you? Oof. just like working for a corporation. You're beholden to pages of HR nonsense. Pages and pages and pages. All the pages. And whether or not you read them is probably a waste of time. Because they all say the same thing. We can fire you for any fucking reason without getting sued, basically. Just written different ways, many, many different ways, so that it sinks in, so that if a lawyer actually is stupid enough to challenge it, they'll be like, well, we wrote this down 900 different ways, we told you you were fucked from the get-go, that we could fire you for any reason, whenever the fuck we feel like it, and all of a sudden you're now upset. Wah. Good luck with that case in court. Yikes. Oh, I think that actually got rid of all those bloopy gloops that were preventing me from climbing up this 
nightmare tower from hell any further. So I guess we're gonna just look around and see if anything changed. Bloopy gloops. But yeah, I think if you let that guy live that I just murdered, he starts killing all the NPCs in the fucking Nexus. Which is annoying, because, like, you'd think that they would come back to life like you can, but no. They're just gone forever for some reason. Wompity. I know there's a ring that you can get from Mephistopheles that you'll never use to get an arbitrary trophy. But that's really the only reason to let him live and fuck up your game file, basically. Oh, it's Gloopy. Goodbye, Gloopy. <coughs> I think it was already over here. Oh, here's Gloopy's brother, Gloopy Jones. evil nest filled with satanic creatures. Must be our House of Representatives in the United States. Sure, they look kind of cute when they put their little suits on and say the boring stuff that they think that you want to hear so that they can go behind your back and make laws that benefit the people that bribed them into office. I love that somebody did like this mini documentary on DeSantis. They're basically like, as constituents, since you took a bribe to get this like fancy golf simulator put in your mansion or whatever, can we play with it since you've, you know, so very obviously like broken <laughs> laws and ethics and God knows what else? Jesus. Is, th is that what we've resorted to? We're just gonna do some mild trolling. Because that's what it's all about. Trolling and social media and clout points so that you can break away from the cycle of having a real job. So that you can be just some fancy popular person. Which is essentially just upholding the status quo, by the way. Which makes you a scumbag, in case you weren't sure. And I pray daily to all the deities equally, and all of the satans, slash demons, whatever they're, that you get fucking murdered. And some of you do. Some of you do get murdered. So it must be working at least a little bit. But the world still sucks, so I don't know that it's doing much good. Because there's always one more idiot in line waiting to take the place of the most popular fucking internet clown. They're always waiting. For the next person to say retarded. 
or say what they really think on camera, or to divulge the information you knew all along, that they were just acting. How do I get over there? I don't think I can walk on that. What the fuck? How do I get up there? Seriously, like, that's where I'm getting to. I'm like, I'm just gonna concoct a fucking persona and just start saying the shit everybody wants to hear so that they stay nice, complacent little douchebag slaves, which is apparently all they've ever wanted to do, so that I could rise to the fucking point of being monetized and praised for my stupid opinions that only keep people down. God damn. I feel like that's the only way to make it anymore. But what are you really making? Like, okay, I guess you can have a fancier car than me, maybe. You can maybe, like, I don't know, have a fancier house. You could maybe afford to have some kids and some better health insurance. But all of that's just really selfish. Like, it doesn't do anything for anybody in any meaningful, positive way. And then I guess you get to, like, claim, you know, like, oh, look, I fucking made it. I made it, guys. Look at me. I fucking made it. I, I just don't think it's worth the trouble. Unless you're at a point in your life where you're starving to compromise your fucking... self to such a degree. I don't know anymore. I think the people that are suing their parents for... fucking in third world countries are onto something. Like, uh... I can't believe you brought me into this shit. You actual piece of fuck. Shit is amazingly funny to me. Yeah. Don't worry, the only people that can do that are... That drop shipping scam are people that have a social media presence. Cause man, you could just tell your social media followers that you're fucking outright robbing them. And they're just, like, happy to see you win because they, like, I don't know, have this fake parasocial relationship with you. They're just so goddamn happy. Oh. Guy fell in a hole and died. I was trying to land on that thing below because I thought I saw an item down there, but... That's what greed will do to you in this world. It's the perfect fucking metaphor. You will fall to your death, sweetie. <laughs> It's so amazing, like, some of the evil shit that I've seen in my life, like, fucking, I remember when I worked for Allstate, they told us that they were gonna open this new call center and do all this extra marketing so that we'd have more calls and make more money as sales reps, and then they just closed our call center, like, a year later, after they moved it to a place where it was cheaper to run and then paid everybody half of what they were making before. But they did it in a poor area so that, you know, the cost of living was substantially lower. And they probably made a lot of profits doing that, you know? And that's hailed now in our society as something that's smart. It doesn't matter that you've destroyed a bunch of people's lives, at least temporarily. Um... Because you just made a smart business move. It doesn't matter that you did a horrible thing to actual people. But it was one of those things that I kind of saw coming and dodged out of the way from, so thankfully it didn't hit me. But there were people that I knew that still worked there that were having to go through some shitty times because of that. Like, oh, things are going well at work. I'm gonna buy a house or have a kid. I finally feel like I have enough money to, like, do something. 
And then they just close that shit down and move it to fucking San Antonio. This is something Allstate actually did that I lived through. And they're still running all their ads, making more money than ever by denying claims now. Because once they steal all the money from their workers, now how? what's the new way that they're going to innovate for their shareholders? Like, they have to find new and increasingly effective ways to steal money because capitalism is perpetual growth. They're never, ever going to stop. It has to get bigger and bigger and bigger forever until it's the only fucking company on the planet. That's how this shit works, kids. Capitalism is fucking evil. It's sh like shit Jesus actually says in the Bible. And then somehow we have fucking Republican, like, religious right people being like, Oh yeah. Uh, yeah, we need, um, I don't know. We need to be part of this process. We gotta get that fucking money. The all-important dollar. The only thing that matters. That way I can pull myself out of this fucking slavery, New World slavery bullshit that we're running. And then I can have fancy shit. Environmentally damaging fancy shit. The rarer the better. I want the rarest fucking car. I want it to be made out of pure rubies. And it gets zero miles to the gallon. Because it's so goddamn heavy. I need the rarest fucking one. So that people know that I'm the specialist fucking douchebag. God damn. God damn, that's fucking... The bar couldn't be lower. The race to the bottom. Ladies and gentlemen, that's what we've decided is what we want to do with this fucking world. Let's fucking pour concrete over everything so that we have places to park our extra 33 cars that we do not have the ability to drive. Souls. Souls caliber. And he just does that so quickly, and then it takes me half an hour to stand up. Yep, half my life that time. What's this thing do? Probably not happy about its tail getting chopped off, I guess. I definitely dodged and blocked that, but no, I didn't. Okie doke. Okay. Ultimate cheapness. God, fuck you. What are you doing? I'm so confused. I guess I'll just stab you a couple times. fair. What are you doing now? I just wait. 
waits for you to move. Cheap ass motherfucker. I'm pretty sure this is just like a run up to the next boss too. Mixed, renowned, legendary. Interesting. The nice thing is that you usually get pitted against some human's build for this boss that's coming up. And they're usually like, the computer doesn't know how to play the, the way the player knows how to play, so they're stupidly weak and die pretty easily for the most part. Rob, I can oh, thank you, as promised. I am fully prepared. I did bring you a soul, you don't want it. I'll give it to the other guy. Maybe I'll just use it myself then. Mixed demon soul. Is there anything I can use that for? You can upgrade a dagger with it, I guess. Which I'll never use, so... We're gonna just eat it. Tasty. get some more HP, because clearly I've been woefully underestimating how much of that I'm going to need. Can't even take a punch. A gargoyle punch, but... Alright, go away. You're creepy. I don't like you. Oh, I was worried sick. What were you worried about? I keep reviving over and over again. Why am I equipping shit again? Shut up. Go away. No one's talking to you. I was worried sick. What are these half moon grasses? Let's buy some more of those. Oh, I can't have any more of those. <laughs> and you can't sell them, so what the fuck is the point? I can forge weapons for you.
Do come back alive. I can forge weapons for you. No interest, eh? I can forge weapons for you. You come back alive. Hello again. I'm keeping a close watch. You have a heart of gold. I can forge weapons for you. You come back alive. <laughs> oh, hello. I can forge weapons for you. You come back alive.
Wow, another red octopus dickhead. The game knows how much I love them. I don't need to actually see that again. Thank you, though. And another narrow hallway where I can't get away from it. Ho ho ho. At least I don't have the ability to also fall off the sides, but still. Not much better than it was last time. Does this thing have enough fucking hit points? God damn. Better than one, two. Gotta have those annoying run backs, I guess. If it hits me once, I basically die, so that's awesome. This boss is actually magically resistant, and it has a lot of magic, so that's gonna be interesting. Is he trying to punch me? I like chairs, what can I say? Look at these chairs. How is this not fun? Like...
There we go. Everything is right with the world now. The thick, colorless fog will oppress me no more. Good. 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 Well, we've long been acquainted. So on. Well, who is it? Is that you? Do you have further on? Yes, I see. Oh, do you have further on? Bravo. Thank you. Let me... I am... a uh, human for... Ugh, 40 magic points. It's recalculous. We can also I'm get a better... <clears throat> catalyst. So I think I'll just throw that in my inventory for now. Oh, that was what he'd say. Oh yeah, I can't use that yet either. We are indebted to you. That and I need to go jump off this fucking cliff really quick here. And probably go kill the Reaper so I have enough EXP to level. You're sleepy? Should take a nap. Naps are good. Uh oh, I died. I've had days where I just fucking nap all day. Cause there's just not tons going on right now. Because the economy is in shambles and the only places that are hiring want straight up slaves and I'm not interested. I'll just start dumpster diving if I have to fucking... if I have a choice on the matter. God damn. Oh yeah, I was gonna go kill something. Souls. Oh. Nah, I don't have any need to do such crazy things right now. Not that it's actually crazy. I mean, honestly, like, I feel like homeless people are doing it right with all... Like, do I want to be a fucking slave or do I want to be on all these fun drugs? I don't know. I can see the appeal. There we go. Free souls. Souls caliber. Shazam. I'm here to kill you.
Yeah, people throw free shit away all the time. It's basically how Amazon does its business model. They would rather throw a bunch of shit away than have it be worth less money due to an abundance of it. So, I mean, there's valid reasons to go play in a dumpster. Let's get some more vitality. Yeah, they're hyper today. I think it's because their other daddy decided to sleep until almost 3 p.m. Alrighty, I think I'm going to stop here. I need to edit this video. Anyways, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.